Hello and uh, welcome to this uh, little video podcast. Uh, today I just wanted to show how easy it is to create a visual roadmap. Pretty simple uh, and it looks uh, pretty nice. I've been looking for something like this uh, for the past couple months and of course there are tools out there like uh, and other product roadmaps uh, services which are online and they're pretty beautiful as well and simple to use but uh, none of those are actually free this one here uh, you see is a free uh, service on the internet you can just go on uh, sign up uh, just like I did and what you see here in the middle is an example of uh, how our how that actually could look like so you can colorize those boxes you can put in whatever you kind of like and they will be placed on a timeline essentially so what you can do you can zoom in uh, in that timeline or zoom out you can move it from left to right and if you want to create your own again you basically uh, simple uh, sign up so let's sign in I show you how to create one of those although it only takes a couple minutes so let's sign in and then uh, essentially if you sign in for the first time you get presented here of course again this uh, home page but uh, if you go on view my roadmaps uh, this here is essentially where you create your own roadmap this is empty currently you also see if you go to view my groups uh, you don't have any groups yet and no products so let's start with uh, some very simple idea here cool is that they have an example here you can create an example basically ask you for three product names so let's put in product one product two product three and then it'll create automatically uh, this uh, roadmap so what you see here it actually created a roadmap called example roadmap it has some title and some description and we can click on show and you see boom it's done you know you have a great timeline you see those products on the roadmap again you can zoom in zoom out and there's some couple other neat things where you can play around with but let's really look in uh, how this is being constructed each of these products so you see three products here they should show up here under my products and as you see they do it is uh, simple here to change so first of all if you wanted to change the box color we could uh, just click on an edit and we get a um, down here a drop down list uh, where you can pick a color uh, we can select the date which is going to be shown on the timeline and of course uh, also the text and kind of need that they use HTML here so it's uh, simple to change something let's say example product number 10 and we just update this actually let's also change the color here to magenta and uh, let's go back to the roadmap and view and we'll see here you know this the, the, here are the changes pretty simple straightforward so uh, why don't we add one more here just to see how that um, flow is so let's go products let's add a new product roadmap item and put this in um, new cool product uh, this is an internal name only here so this is not going to show up on the boxes this is just once you select it on one of the groups you will find this is a good name here to be used uh, let's uh, also use uh, HTML here cool product feature in here and maybe another one what is this? all right I guess this is probably enough uh, let's say whatever we're gonna take here and this is going to be uh, green so now it should show up as a fourth item here it's a cool new product right so uh, before it shows up so let's see what it looks like on the roadmap uh, it will not show up but I still want to show you right so it's not in here yet because 
First, it needs to be associated with a group. So if we look at our groups in the example group uh, as an example, we can see that uh, we just added this new cool product and it's not been selected. So why don't we select this and we get rid of uh, one of the other products? Then this is what actually going to show up in the roadmap, product one, two, and the cool product. There you go. This is what that looks like. So very simple, uh, free, and it's a, a great visualization tool. Creating visual roadmaps on a timeline with boxes. You don't want to handle boxes moving in PowerPoint around or creating timelines. This is pretty simple and easy to use. With that, you know, that's pretty much it. Uh, so if you can sign up yourself on visualroadmaps.net. Again, that is free and uh, I welcome you, of course, uh, to leave any comments you have here on that uh, video blog. All right, thank you very much and have a good day.